My name is Amy and I had the Ultimate Silhouette Plasti about a year and a half ago. My name is Sarah and I had the Ultimate Silhouette Plasti uh, two months ago. My name is Elena and I had the Mommy Makeover Surgery about two months ago. My name is Gina and I had the Ultimate Silhouette Plasti about six months ago. I was gaining too much weight in the midsection and um, I just wanted to get rid of the roll. When I sat down, I didn't like the little, I, I just wanted rid of it. I was not uncomfortable with being a heavy woman. I've always just been very comfortable in my skin. And then when I had my children, things sort of changed the way I felt. Even, you know, to get personal, I, I couldn't even bear my husband to see me, you know, naked. You know, there was rules, don't touch. Oh, no, don't put your hand there, you know. So there were so many rules just to touch, just to do things. So one day somebody asked me, they said, when do you deliver? And I was thinking, oh, my gosh, I haven't had a baby in five years, five years. And somebody's still asking me if I'm going to have a baby. So I started researching, and I researched a lot. It took me two years. But when I came upon Dr. Schlesinger's page, I noticed that the documenters were real people and they had real issues like me, so that's why I did it. Give me goosebumps. I know. <laughs> like, well, I want to go have the surgery. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe she is going to make us cry after all, right? <laughs> I wanted to have the procedures done because um, I was always very, very, very thin, but I've always had body issues and after I got pregnant with my first child I started out at 100 pounds and then I gained 60 more pounds on top of that so the way that my body just stretched and then I just went back to being 100 pounds but the skin never went back and as like this 19 year old girl I was devastated like the shot to my self-esteem that it took was I mean it was awful then I ended up getting pregnant two more times had two more sons and each pregnancy was just more and more stretching and at the end of the day I was just left with so much extra skin that I just couldn't get rid of and you know breastfeeding for a total of 31 months like that takes a huge toll on your breast so it was just like it went from like happy boobs to like meh so it was like <laughs> I wanted my fullness back I just wanted to feel like a woman. I had two kids also two daughters um, I ended up having an emergency c-section with my first one so I was torn apart kind of rapidly. Mm -hmm. um, I had also gained about 65 pounds. I was really upset when I got on the scale and had broke 200 pounds as a woman who was 5'3 and really petite most of the time. Uh, so once I finally did that and I had my kids, I looked at my husband and I was like, honey, someday you're gonna fix this. Yeah. Because yeah. I had the same problem, it was the skin. Yeah. And it didn't matter how hard you work, how much you work out, how much you eat right, the skin was still there. And for me, it was just too much to handle. I was hiding and I hide just like you. I would hide in my clothes, I would hide in a swimsuit and I would just always hide. My husband, I'm like, don't touch me, you know, turn the light off. Oh my God, I was like that too. And I am <laughs> like, just woke up and I said, you know, I want to be proud. I want to match the person I am on the inside. I want my outside to feel like that too. And I want my daughters to be confident that their mother is confident in not hiding and that they're not going to hide either someday, you know? So I decided to go ahead and do it. That's awesome. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest issue that held me back was like they said, like financially, but it wasn't that we didn't have the money because this was something that we had been saving for because I knew like eventually when we were done having children like I wanted to do this but it's hard for me to even buy a ten dollar shirt at Ross let alone going and spending thousands of dollars on myself I was like that is groceries that's my kids car like you know what I mean like all these things that's our college like I could just put that away in savings for them if I'm gonna go spend that much money but at the end of the day I just my husband was like you know you just need to invest in yourself you just always put everybody else ahead of yourself as a mom and it was like for once he's like put yourself first and also finding the time when my husband was home and not busy that I could work around his work schedule and our hectic 
military life to where he was going to be there and able to take off for like three weeks so he could be my nurse and also the caregiver for our kids. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Definitely the money, um, especially when I got um, an estimate <laughs> from, the, from the doctor on the mainland. And then I come here and it's twice that. But I was ready to pay that much because I knew he was a really good doctor and you pay you you get what you pay for so yeah that made a difference it was a little bit of both I um, I'm not great with pain <laughs> but the money money was definitely well you remember the day I walked in mm -hmm. and I was like ah, we can't do this I think it was overcoming the guilt of wanting to spend that much money just so I can feel better about myself but then I went home and talked to my husband, and I was so sad. I remember being so sad, and he said, you know what, I'd pay anything to have you get your confidence back. I'd pay anything for you to feel like you did when I met you. You know, if that amount of money is what it's going to take for you to feel good about yourself, he said, let's do it. He totally, he saw the pain that I was going through, and he totally was there for me. So yeah. funny thing is, is I wouldn't have done it for me. Mm -hmm. I, w I had already walked out of here that day and said, I can't do that for me. I can't take that from them, you know. But he told me that you're not taking from them. You're giving them something back because what they see right now is a broken person. You know, like these girls said, I want to be strong for my kids. I want to be that powerhouse that, that you want to tell them to be. How can you tell them to be so confident and you can't achieve that yourself? You're not even living it. Right. Yeah. So, How can I preach it to my kids mm -hmm. if I'm not even preach it to myself. Right. Yeah. We, I just knew that I was going to eventually have it. So we had saved and saved and saved. Got the surgery in December. So it was kind of like a matter of time and picking the right doctor and getting over my mom guilt. Like I was saying, like my husband just gave me that little push that I needed. And I was just like, <sighs> yeah. So it wasn't too difficult after. And I was just like, OK, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I guess I'll go do it. You know? <laughs> I'm like, twist my arm, twist my arm. <laughs> With some work and some things, and we kind of made it happen, and a tax return really helped. And as soon as we got that money, we called Jenna and was like, OK, let's do this. And I'm just really always so happy, like so happy now. So, And it's fine. And um, I don't like debt, but we did a little bit. Of, we worked it out, and we're good now. So. So we're all Wait, military spouses, and we are all from married to somebody in a different branch of the military. So I'm Army. Marine Corps. Air Force. Navy. My husband's schedule was, there was no way that I could time it for him to be there. And I think we would all agree that being a military spouse, you do what you have to um, a lot of the times on your own. So I wanted it so badly that I did it on my own. So, yeah. I was spoiled. My husband, he took seven days off. You know, remember, we had to work around his TDYs. Mm -hmm. He stays TDY a lot. He said, baby, all I can give you is seven days. Mm -hmm. And so we squeezed it in his seven days off. And then we had, I recommend completely the, the overnight care. Oh, I, definitely. I, oh, I, sure. That was, wow, that was great. I mean, I felt felt great. I mean, they took care of me and my husband was able to take that break and get the kids, you know, prepared for me coming home and he had everything ready. I was really lucky because my husband actually got to take off for three weeks. I literally couldn't have survived. But my youngest, is he's also only one. Oh, yeah. I have an eight, uh, eight, three and one year old. I would definitely not do anything differently though. I sent my kids to California with my best friend, actually, who the one I spoke of earlier helps me out with things. Um, she flew my girls to California and met my parents, and my parents took the kids, uh, mainly because I didn't want them to see me go through this kind of surgery because I am their rock, and I didn't necessarily want them to see me um, so exhausted or not really there with the medication and things like that and I knew it would be really difficult because they would want me and I wouldn't really maybe be able to give them what they needed and I can't deal with that because my kids come first so I needed them to just be out of the picture so I could focus on recovering and focus on myself and my husband was a huge help and so many things we go through alone mm -hmm. as military spouses and so I 
I don't know. I'm not sure that I ever thought he'd be the one to help take care of me. <laughs> I thought maybe my mom. But I'm glad it, we did it the way we did it, and it worked out, and uh, he got to be there and be a part of it. You know, now I can go work out. I don't have abdominal pain where before he did do the repair, so he pulled mm -hmm. the muscles together. Yeah. So I don't have pain. I just, the pain emotionally and, and the pain physically, it's, it's going away, and I feel great. And I wore a bikini for the first time, like, two weeks ago, and I still felt like, should I cover myself? Because I wasn't used to it. It's a mental process. It is. Yeah. And like, I still like catch myself feeling like I have the skin here and I don't, mm -hmm. you know? But it was the first time that I could go to the beach and like wear a bikini. And I was like, oh my God, I'm wearing a bikini. I'm wearing a bikini. I was so happy. I also had a full muscle repair. And I feel like it changed my life because I had a lot of pain. I do work out. I love the gym. And that was before I ever came here, my goal was to go to the gym, to get myself healthy, and then come and do what I wanted mm -hmm. to do to make me feel better, make me mad. I hadn't worn a swimsuit, a bikini probably since I was like 19, and now I only have bikinis, and, and I do occasionally feel like, oh my goodness, when I first take my clothes off, but then I realize I it's look fantastic. Anymore, yeah. And then it's like, okay, cool, and I'm not worried about like that feeling of carrying the skin. And the skin being gone is like what I needed. It was like this huge weight lifted off my shoulders that like made me feel free. It made me feel like myself again. And then having the repair is a whole nother story because I don't have the, the pain I used to have. Um, man, I can do a plank all day long. So like yeah. they are tight, so you know, but I, I love it. And I'm so glad that I did it. I wouldn't ever regret it. And I tell everybody that it is a thousand percent worth it. That's one of the things my husband said. He said, I can't keep my hands off of you now. He said, I love your confidence. <laughs> he said, I loved you before. He said, but this confidence that you have when you're alone with me, when we're together, I can touch your belly, I can touch your body, and you're not cringing like, like you're unattracted to me. When he didn't realize I was cringing because I was afraid he was going to see me. But now he can touch me, and I feel so good about it. You Girl, know? you're preaching over there. I know, I'm like, I know. So I'm like, That's how I felt too. Again. I know. I'm like, <laughs> man, to be able to, to jump just... out of the truck and not have everything, you know, waterbed. You know, well, you know, it's or just to be able to flip the lights on when you guys yes. are like intimate. Nice. That yeah. is a huge deal it's for me. Huge. I mean, it had been yeah. years. I just like. Oh, Let's just turn the lights off. And so much of that is like mental for us. They're not even thinking that. No. They don't care. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, that yeah. was a big issue for me too because I would just like, boom, turned off. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I can't do this. And it was because I wasn't happy with myself. Yeah. And that, and it sucks. Like, it sucks to, to hold that when they're like, oh, I love you for who you are, what you look like. It doesn't matter. I love you. But if we don't love ourselves, it's hard for us to give that same love right. back. Yeah. Where they're maybe taking that as the this is like against them, but right. it's not. It's a hundred percent we're not happy inside. And yeah. how can we project that like positive and that confidence without that? But once you're you again and once you get out and once you go shopping for the first time, oh my gosh. I was like, I must have picked out a pile of clothes that was um way too big for me. And I had no idea. Went to yeah. the dressing room, kept putting Did you on not pants. Think that you I don't know. I think it I was, was the, the same, same thing. Like I, I don't know. Did you do that? I'm from a size sixteen. I was picking out sixteens like I normally do. And then, oh, that don't fit, so go back out and grab them. I went all the way down to like a size 12. I'm wow. like, I haven't been a 12 since my first child. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, I cry a little bit. My husband's coming, he came in there because he hates shopping with me. But he came in from the mall and he said, what's the matter, honey? What's the matter? What, what can I do for you? And I said, I'm just so happy. Yes. I cried. I, I cried because I, it took me like a pile of clothes and I put on these shirts and I realized like I was totally hiding. And I was like, why am I hiding? This is how I dressed. And it was sort of like this realization that this is how I dressed but now this is how I can dress and what makes me feel good. And I am a completely different person than I was just a few weeks ago, really. Yeah. And um, it was huge. I, I cried and like a, it almost let out the, the negatives and like in the positive. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, oh my gosh, yes. And my husband's finally like, what happened? And I'm like, this happened. Like, I had no idea I could wear pants without the skin. I was wearing pants oh God, just so I yes. could tuck the skin in. Oh and you tuck the skin in the pants. That was what I, like, determined, like, yep. anything. It was, like, if you could see, like, mm -hmm. the... Even these are too big because yep. these are the jeans that I had before. Mm -hmm. And these were too small for me before the surgery. 
So this is the first time I would put them on, and I was just like, oh, they're, they're kind of loose yeah. now. Yeah. This is not fat. This is extra jeans now. Right. This is the extra <laughs> skin right. being tucked in there. So, uh, And it doesn't bother me that, like you guys, that he touches me now. It's, yeah, I used to say, don't touch my fat. And uh, now I don't, I don't care. My husband's an octopus. He's all just, <laughs> his arms are just going. <laughs> He never complained or once said, oh, you know, lose weight or anything. Matter of fact, he said he was happy with just who I was. But now he said, wow, I just love how you just march into a room with your hand on your hip and that booty. <laughs> I just love the way you march in there. He said, I get turned on every time I see you do so that. I mean, we've always had a great relationship, like, before, but now it's like, like on steroids, it's like on crack. It's like he's like obsessed and I'm like, you need to like chill out, you know? I'm like, every time he sees me, he's just like, oh, hey, you know? And I'm like, it's been so positive. Like our marriage, our sex life, like everything. It's just, I would have done it way sooner. Like, well, obviously I couldn't have done that so much sooner if I had a one, I have a one year old, but I wish, that I, you know what I mean? It's right. like, it, it just changed everything. I mean, it changed, more so just my confidence, like wearing lingerie, not wearing lingerie. You know what I mean? It's like I feel hot. I don't have to like cover myself anymore in like a baggy t-shirt to go to bed. And he's right. like, well, that's hot. 100% life changing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It really was.